Bubbles. I did it. Alright, well, I did it. I did it. Okay, so I did it. I'm out at the sun tunnels, middle of freaking nowhere. And when I say the middle of nowhere, this really seems like the middle of nowhere. The, <laughs> the gas stations are not present. There are no gas stations. I gotta take a piss. There are just no gas stations out here. Smell like, smell the cows. Yeah, there's a lot less people out here than at the spiral jetty. Spiral jetty. Ooh, it's hot. Gotta put a hat on. What is it about life? I'm gonna fly a drone. I'm gonna fly the drone. So, there we go. Let's get the drone set up. So, what is it that draws people to things? Is it other people? If no one... The frig. This is the first. That was annoying. So, I don't have a lot to say. Let's fly this drone. Let's fly this drone. Let's fly this drone. Don't even.
Flying the drone, the drone, the drone. <laughs> that was crazy.
I don't really know what to say. I really don't know what to say. So cool in these sun tunnels. So cool. Wow. It's hot outside. I could take a nap right now. Oh man. Take a nap.
What a beautiful place. Where's the adventure, I think? What is it? We make things. A factory worker makes a product to be sold. An artist makes a product to be sold. Or commissioned to be experienced or viewed. It's all the same really, I guess. Comes down to life, how long life is and what you do with your life. How is it that someone How does it work out? How does it work out that someone works in a factory and someone works in an art studio? How does that work out? How does it work out that someone owns the factory? How does any of it work out? How does it make any sense? How did a person decide to put four aqueduct pipes running water from the San Juan to LA and decide that oh, instead of siphoning water off the Continental Divide, let's make an art installation in the middle of nowhere in Utah some sort of Chaco Canyon pilgrimage to see the constellations line up with the with the the celestial bodies at given times Chaco 2 Chaco 8 million but how is it that this exists. How is it that I got here? How did any of this happen? I'm confused. I like land art though, I know that. In a way, no one would ever know this, but These four cylinders could outlast humanity. No one would come and wreck them. No one would do anything. This might be as permanent as permanent can be. I don't know how well this cement is made, but it almost seems like this could last a long time. A long time. The spiral jetty I don't think will last forever. In fact, I think the spiral jetty is an example of watching something move towards impermanence on a very slow gradation. Um, now, you could throw dust into the wind. Even these cylinders are just dust in the wind, but I'll tell you, land art tends to connect me with a higher power and also with the infinite smallness of... All right. Yo, yo, yo. Hello, hello. All right. So... Well, here I am in Utah, the sun tunnels. Something Jennifer Jessica Holt, I believe, is the artist. Definitely an adventure to get here. Definitely a bucket list type of a situation to be able to uh, experience this. I wish I had something glorious to say. Um, I think 
solidifies why artists make things like this. Experience in them. The weight. It's immutable. This could be, for all we know, this could be the ground zero for the test site of a nuclear weapon. Memorial. But it's not. Drove by some nuclear NASA thing. Went to, finally went to Robert Smith's, Robert Smithson's spiral jetty after all these years. Um, definitely interesting. Smaller than I thought it would be. I remember when I first learned about Robert Smithson and uh, seen pictures to actually be out here in Utah, finally. I've been to southern Utah, but to come up north, um, this is just really an amazing experience. I don't have the dialectical observations to transmit higher levels of knowledge, but making, 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 knowing by making, waiting for that aha moment, waiting for that aha moment, when all is perfect. Um, I really think with Robert Smithson, Smithson, especially if you look at his body of work, I really think that there's this component of child's play. And I can remember as a kid, doing things like damming rivers to see the, the water go in different directions. I think that on some level land art might be an adult version of that. This piece, the sun tunnels, is definitely not quite as exciting. Very still. What's amazing to me is the quiet of Utah. I can't believe how quiet it is. It's unbelievable. At the, at the spiral jetty, it was so quiet, it was literally still. I can't remember being by any body of water that was that still, almost like a vacuum. What an amazing life this is. Knowing by making, making these movies, what am I knowing? I think at this point in the, in the project, in the research, in the the expedition of myself. Um, what, what do I know? What am I, what am I knowing at this point? I think, honestly. Let's see if I can get this. So, um, I think at this point in the knowing by making experiment and research on what do we know by making, what have I known and what am I knowing and what will I know, I think that I've gotten to a place where um, understanding kind of where I fit in the art or don't fit. And uh, it's actually kind of sad. I don't really think I have a place in the contemporary art world. I don't think many people are interested in, in this. But I don't think that's really why I'm doing it, that kind of validation, because I get validation all the time. I think there's something bigger for me. Um, some sort of understanding, some sort of peace that I'm trying to make with my history, my past. And I think um, I'm almost on the verge of maybe digging in and pushing into to my own history and my own confessions. Um, I can't believe how amazing it is to be out here in Utah. Let's see if this will track me. No, lost me, found me, bring me back.
Where's the knowledge in knowing? Where's the knowledge in making? Where's the knowledge in any of this? Where's the knowledge? Oh, notice the sound change. Where's the knowledge looking down from cloud nine? Where's the knowledge? Where's the knowing? <laughs> into anything. So, love it. Let's do. So, Robert Smithson is definitely a big star. Um, I don't, this is a lesser known land art, but potentially the aesthetic is more pleasing as well as the experience. Um, I remember when I saw this Robert Smithson, uh, I don't know what you would call it, happening in New York City where they filled the, the um, what was it? They filled a barge with trees and then a tugboat took it around New York City. That was one of my favorite art experiences that I've ever had. And they, just the, the silly triteness of it was really, oh no, helps to record this stuff. Um, no one's here, I'm all by myself. Three hours from Salt Lake City. It is time to return to the city. I gotta work all week, hard work, so getting paid to come out to Utah the trade-off is that I actually have to work. Um, that's fine. I wish I didn't have to work. What, what would I do to be an artist in a studio making art solely? I've had this experience before. I wonder how different it would be today as a 40-year-old compared to me as a 25-year-old, 22-year-old, 30-year-old. I think I've kind of come to the understanding that I'm never going to be a famous artist. I'm never going to make any money. I don't do it to make money. I don't do it to have fame. I just do it because I, I have to do it. And I, I don't know, but I have to do it. Holt, Sun Tunnels. All the towns say no services. I don't think they want to be bothered. I don't think they want people stopping. Utah reminds me of an like Amish country a little bit. These hamlets of Mormons. What does it mean? What does it mean to be a Latter-day Saint? What will we know? How long will the cement last? I think I have found a monument to eternity. I would like to bury a coffin of my art. 
to be discovered 20,000 years from now. I really think these cylinders will be around in 20,000 years. I think they'll make it. Maybe, maybe not. They might need to be buried first, but I gotta get on the road, I gotta get back. Been on the road all day. Holler at your boy, knowing by making 2019. 100 years now, 100 years from now, 100 years before, generations, generations, all fodder to eternity. The cosmos is large, earth is small, humans are smaller, America, love, children, it's all making sense. So grateful for my experiences, so grateful I don't know what's next, but I love you. Yes, I love you. Will you love me? Please. I'm all alone out here in the desert. Am I homesick for my family? Maybe. Do I want to go to work tomorrow and audit this facility? I don't want to. But knowing by making no services. Hope I don't run out of gas. I've had anxiety for like the last two hours. It said that the nearest gas station was 100 miles. So I think I'll make it. I just don't know which hundred miles. <laughs> Up, down, turn around, north, south, east, to west. Peace.